Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is March 6th, 2016. So let's take a look at the week that was, and how the planet's positions in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. So this is interesting. As is obvious by now, the Republican voters in this country have rejected the desires of the Republican leadership. Yep, that's right. Republican primary voters and their champion, Donald Trump, seem to have hijacked the Republican Party. By accident or by instinct, Donald Trump discovered that the Republican Party had served him up the perfect audience. Modestly educated, low-information voters who feel really angry and betrayed by the government and the social and financial elites. So, how does this megalomaniac billionaire turn out to be more relatable to average Americans than someone who has dedicated their life to politics? Well, just for a minute, Look at Donald's Vedic astrology chart. Make note of the fact that Mr. Trump was born on the day of a Scorpio full moon. The moon indicates your natural instincts. Here it is in the very intuitive, very passionate sign Scorpio, where a full moon gives psychic power. Note, too, that his moon is conjunct K2, the eclipse point, which connects to the unseen world. And this further boosts the psychic power of his moon. So, whatever detrimental factors there may be in his chart, Mr. Trump does have this preternatural instinct to know what the public wants. Now, add to this his karma to be a leader, as shown by Mars placed in his Leo Ascendant, and you have someone who somehow ends up on top, regardless of the big mistakes he makes. After his impressive Super Tuesday win, a panic-stricken Republican Party has given birth to a Stop Trump movement, with Super PACs putting up money for anti-Trump media campaign to air ads in the upcoming primary states. Even Mitt Romney came out from under his rock and publicly threw down on Trump, saying in no uncertain terms that the Donald was a danger to the country and that he had to be stopped. All right, back to the astrology. The transit of Mars into Scorpio put the planet of attack in the fourth house of Donald Trump's chart from where it sends its attack energy to his 10th house of status and position. Saturn, the planet of the establishment, also opposes Mr. Trump's 10th house by being in Scorpio. Last Thursday, the now much smaller GOP field had yet another debate, this one in Detroit, Michigan. And this debate was even more raucous than the last Donald Trump show uh, debate. More off-color comments, including a reference to the male appendage, and more shouting. It sounded like a schoolyard fight rather than a political debate. And the audience loved it, whooping and hollering like they were at some sort of sports event. Looking at the chart of the debate, we have to note that Mars is nearly exactly square to Mercury. Mercury is the planet of discussion. Mars is the planet of argument. Of course, the debate was unintelligible at times with all the yelling. And the takeaway for many viewers was to doubt that the Republican Party is ready to take over the presidency of the country. So, what the hell is going on, some pundits are asking, is this the revenge of the lower classes and the rise of American fascism? Returning to the chart of the USA, there is still the transit of Uranus, planet of rebellion, in the fourth house of the chart, the sector of a country's chart that stands for, amongst 
other things, the homeland, the common people, as well as opposition to the ruling class. Further, Uranus is transiting directly opposite the USA natal Saturn, the planet that represents the established order. Another fairly recent development is that Mars has entered Scorpio, which is the USA chart's 12th house. Mars joins up with Saturn already transiting here. Amongst its many meanings, the 12th house of a country's chart is like the dark closet of the country, representing the fears and anxieties of the people, the hidden underbelly of the nation. Mars is the planet of action, as well as conflict, anger, and destruction. Its transit through this part of the chart brings out what has been hidden. Saturn is the planet of security and stability. Its transit in the twelfth house brings a yearning for what Saturn represents. So, Donald Trump turns out to be in the right place at the right time to appear to be the answer to the people's distress. But is he really? Well, here's another worrisome transit, which has been in operation for a while. Neptune, the planet of illusion and delusion, has been transiting near the USA chart's natal moon for the past few years. The moon, in a country's chart, represents the people's thinking. Where does all this end up? For now, we have to conclude that the Donald is not going away, that he clearly does have support in this country, and that he could very well become the nominee of the Republican Party. There will be, of course, more events that we'll be keeping track of as they occur. Now, that's all the time I have for this week's Review of the Week. You can keep up with daily astrological developments and contribute your own thoughts by following me on Twitter at Astro News Report.